Hi guys, in today's beginner friendly tutorial, I'll explain how curves work and how to adjust them to achieve smooth speed ramps. The key to smooth speed ramps is setting the curves correctly, if they're not set properly, your ramps won't look smooth. Let's enable time remapping on the clip and adjust the keyframes by setting the beginning and end of the layer. You can change the first keyframes timing to set the clip start, then scroll forward to where the clip should end, for example here, and adjust the timing to set the ending too. Finally cut and delete the extra part with unneeded keyframes. Now select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor, right click, and select edit value graph. Here's the most important step, the curve controls how the speed changes in your edits. Now I'll explain it as simply as possible. Select the left side of the curve and pull the handle up like this. What this does is speed up the beginning of the clip while keeping it smooth. Pulling it too high will make the video too sharp or too fast. A shorter handle makes the video slower, which we don't want for smooth speed ramps. Keep the handles balanced, not too short and not too long. This spot is the sweet spot I'm showing you right now. The video will speed up smoothly at the beginning. Now let's make the ending smooth the same way. This creates the most balanced curve, the handles aren't too high, which would make the video too fast, and they aren't too short, which would make it too slow or look weird. The curve is smooth and perfectly balanced. Let's check it quickly. It looks so smooth. Now let me show you a small screenshot of this curve with an explanation to help you understand it better. Pulling the handle up vertically controls the video speed. The longer it is, the faster the video goes. Dragging it horizontally controls how quickly the speed changes. If you pull the handle all the way left, the speed at the beginning changes too fast and isn't smooth. Dragging the handle horizontally to the right like this, makes the speed change slower. So finding the right balance between fast and slow is how you achieve smooth speed ramps in each clip. This example of the curve works smoothly for most cases, but it also depends on the music. Sometimes harsher curves look better if the song is intense. It's all about the music, the flow, and how you sync your edit with it. I've tried to explain how the curve works, now take your time and practice. Play this video on repeat and keep practicing until you get the best results and really understand how the curve works.